The sweeping revival of My Fair Lady reunites the Tony-winning creative team with director Bartlett Cher, costume designer Catherine Zuber, and set designer Michael Jurgen. The trio has earned awards and acclaim for their past collaborations, including The King and I, Fiddler on the Roof, The Bridges of Madison County, South Pacific, and more. We spoke with this dream team about the Lincoln Center Theater revival of My Fair Lady and why they work so well together. Our collaboration, the collaboration with Bart Scher and Catherine Zuber and Don Holder has been a dream come true and it, it didn't come easy. I mean, we, we sort of all started off on the, the same show. So when we all kind of got together, it just, I don't know, it just sort of clicked. There's certain trust builds up, a certain um, shorthand and a certain uh, understanding of um, everyone's um, aesthetics, uh, intelligence and style of telling a story. I think the great thing about them is that among them, I ha they have an extraordinary depth of experience and a really rich knowledge for how to approach these musicals because they've worked for so long in so many areas with so many great other collaborators than myself. One of the most admirable things about Bart is he really, he's very loyal and he really does build, each show kind of builds on the next one. Some of the things that you discovered on one show, you can carry over into the next one. You know, they're, they're largely, you know, got about 100 years worth of experience on them, so they're pretty great. Although this is the fifth time My Fair Lady has been on Broadway, the beloved classic still presents challenges to be solved by the design team. My Fair Lady turned out to be one of the most difficult tasks we ever uh, took on. Um, we would quietly call it the, the ring cycle of musicals, meaning it was like, like trying to do Wagner or something. It was really big. One of the reasons it's so difficult is it's very, very demanding in terms of location. We wanted the study to be as real as possible, and we wanted one of the issues with the study in My Fair Lady is that so much of the play happens there. And in the original set, it was just one space. We came up with a turntable idea in a multifaceted sort of world which we could turn and live in and out of and move and really get a sense of transformation. Then you've got the Ascot, which is all of Kathy's fantastic costumes, and we knew that that really had to be kind of surreal, so we just put it against a glowing white background with this ethereal kind of a canopy that, that drapes over it. I felt that if the men and the women were of the same palette, it would give the illusion of um, a larger population where it wasn't divided between men and women. By making it all in mauves and grays, stone colors and off-whites, it kind of um, kind of pulled everybody together. And then out of that, by having Eliza with black and white, you know, we could keep our eye on our leading lady and have, you know, know where to look within those scenes. With its themes of transformation and independence, My Fair Lady is a story for all time, and this year's stunning revival delivers in every way. My Fair Lady is one of the great shows of all time. It happens to be the first musical that I ever saw in my life when I was a kid in Dallas, Texas. And it's a great story, a fantastic story that's even more relevant now than when it was first done. We all work so hard on everything we do, and when it's a success and the audience appreciates what all the collaborators have done, when, when all of that comes together and we have that positive feedback, uh, it's just great. There's nothing like it. My Fair Lady plays at the Vivian Beaumont Theater. <laughs>